Kevin Blanche has brought this up, and I think he's on to something. If you look at the southern tip of Japan, Sendai is right here. And if you notice, every single rad monitoring station is around Sendai. So all these reds, they're, they're uptrending, and then you got these that are starting to boom up. Conveniently around the Sendai nuclear plant, you're not going to find a, a rad monitoring station next to it. Uh, I did look next to the ocean of Sendai, and it just doesn't look normal either. And here's another picture, so you can get kind of a bigger blowout of that. So, <clears throat> you see every single one is red. Uh, if it's normal, if it's not going up at all, they'll be in green. So, I think we should be concerned. We should not be listening to these power companies that are telling us it's just cracks and, and the seawater and a condenser. The, every trending rad monitoring station going up. So as you can see, the Sendai River is to the north, and there's the Sendai nuclear power plant. Now if you look, you see how murky this water is around Sendai? It's really dark looking. Let's get a closer look. See that? I want you to check out the water a little bit better in the shot and you be the judge if you think this water should not be looking this way let me know to me it just looks abnormal first you see you see that Then you see how the water here just looks like it's unclean. Building up here, probably the waves are pushing it back onto the beach here, Sendai, Sendai Nuclear Beach. And look at this. That doesn't look like a typical water in an ocean. Let me tell you, I wouldn't want to swim in that. Okay. So that's some pretty dark, murky looking stuff, whatever that is. Now I can't test and confirm and tell you it's radiation, but um, I definitely wouldn't want to play around in that water. 